Hello, everybody, and welcome to race number six of the season of the Intercell Universe Orlando Cup Series Season 9 here. And we are running the Wawa versus Sheets 400 here at the Pocono Fairgrounds. So this should be a fun race. Let's get on down to your starting lineup on the pole. Keith Batson in car 39. Next to him, Cody Lamas. Third, Dylan Throw. Fourth, Jesse Turner. Fifth, Zachary Fitzwater. Sixth, Benjamin Miles. Seventh, Joshua Osborne. Eighth, James Ellison. Ninth, Kev Shearer playing the top 10, Samet Oskin. Here's Rester starting lineup from 11th and 12th on back. As we kept on, Kev Shear, he's the hometown hero for this race. And we've got an interesting point situation that's going on down. So don't worry, we'll get full advantage into this one here. On the final row, we have James Qualls and Quentin Moore. So the points coming into this race, this is interesting. We got a three-way tie for the points lead, and that is Cole Deaver, Clint Spillman, and Connor Meyer all tied for the points lead. JT Bryant, who won a Papyrus a few weeks back, he is fourth in the points. Dylan Pote is in fifth, five points back. Trent Dunham, nine back. Quentin Moore, 12 back. Brett Pritchard, 26 back. Cody Lamas, 28 back, and John Art, 30 back. That's just from five races altogether. And everyone's still having some really good runs in the points, with the exception of Dylan Throws. Kind of really not starting off well. Same for Seth Cole and Allison Rain and Alex Rain. So they definitely need some good runs coming into today's race. But if you notice who's on the pole there, Keith Batson, that's going to be one to keep an eye on. He has been trying to get a win. He had two chances last season. And this season, he's just been kind of creeping into that top 10 area. So this is great to see. Let's see if we can get it done. But let's get the command to fire the engines here at Pocono. Drivers, start your engines. And, oh, we got a problem, I think, on the track. Or not? I'm not sure. That was kind of weird. R.J. Bishop uh, looked like he was indicating he was going to come on down. And he didn't. That was interesting. Pace car makes a dive down pit road. Yes, he is coming down to pit road. So, issues on the 98 Haas Mercedes. Green flag is out and we're underway here at Pocono. For the Wawa versus Sheets 400. Coming off of turn number three there, he's seen Cody Lamas try to make a move for the lead off that corner, but definitely took it wrong for sure, and Keith Batson's going to lead the first lap of the race right there, and this track is multi-lane groove, but this is a very tricky one. You see, you have to learn how to use the passes correctly there, like what Dylan Thoreau's doing behind the 39, you definitely don't want to do right there. Definitely want to use the outside line coming in a one, and then when you go into turn two, that's when you want to be on the inside line. See, Turner does that in the 78 there if he gets a good run, and not going to be enough, so he's going to tuck behind the 48. Thoreau stays in the fourth position. Ellison right now working his way up into the fifth spot all over the National Guard Chevrolet's back bumper. Miles kind of didn't make a good corner right there. And you see Samet Oskin in the 63. He's got Joshua Osborne to his inside, but what's going to benefit that 62 or uh, the 63 rather is the fact that he's gonna have that outside line momentum coming into one that car's gonna slingshot right here there he goes and you definitely see that work out really well for that 63 car for sure 
Now Ellison trying to make a move on Thoreau. Just not enough of a run right there. He's going to tuck in line, single file, but... Ooh, man. Oscar in the 63. Oh, I hear a crash coming off of two. And, oh, it's Sheldon and Qualls. Caution will wave, and Bishop, who went back out on the track, he's going to be a few laps down, but I believe he will be. I'm not too sure. Batson will lead them down at the line, so that's a good sign for that 39 team. Uh, they are out in front, and I'm telling you, I think once they saw they got the pole, they had to be very surprised right there. And I believe it looks like R.J. Bishop actually is on the lead lap, so I thought it was a lap down or two, but let's just see when, we, when he crosses the line here. I'm pretty sure he's on the lead lap. And yes, indeed the case he is. However, Jessica Shelton on pit road, James Qualls, also on pit road, and that 70 machine is crunched. Shel oh, yep, and Qualls out of it. Sheldon looks like she will probably continue. She doesn't look like she had a lot of damage. She only looked like she took a spun, but yep, out in the way of the 0-2 Coca-Cola Thunder goes. So cautions out for the first time today. Bats in on front. Let's take a look where ourselves our first yellow. Well, you see Diego Yepes, Trent Dunham, and Nathan Hudson are all three wide coming into turn number two. They see Sky Commons in the 17 coming on in into that turn. And obviously, you know, this is not going to end well because you've known uh, how Pocono is in the series. These cars do like to slide coming into this corner. And Hudson just does not take that turn well at all. Goes into Dunham, goes into Yepes. And wham, the Husky Mercedes goes in the wall. Trent Dunham also getting a slight piece in that PS5 Chevrolet. Oh, Eric Douglas got involved. And see the 36 get involved there too. And then Qualls nowhere to go. Is the Cashel GTX Chevrolet. There you see Shelton getting involved in the 0-2. Round she went. Yellow waves. So that's a tough break right there for a few drivers. One in particular, your champion from last season, James Qualls. Not off to a good start in that 70 machine. Definitely got some works to got some kinks to work around there in that 70 machine. Caution's out. Bats and out in front. Let's take it back to the green. Pace tricks give us the one lap to go. Three drivers stayed out after the cycle of pit stops. They were Cody Lamas, Joshua Osborne, and Ember Ross. Only one out of the race, James Qualls in car number 70. So we mentioned your top three. They're the ones stayed out, Lamas, Osborne, Ross. Batson came first off pit road. He'll restart fourth. Ellison fifth. Turner sixth. Miles seventh. Oskin eighth. Meyer ninth. Completing the top ten. Dylan Thoreau. He definitely choked on the pit stops. How about Connor Meyer? He won last season this exact race. And here he is in the top ten. Great pit stop by him there. So, seeing how that's going to happen, and also the fact that now we're seeing that the fact that these drivers, they are going to take a lot of interesting risks that will come along the way. And we double check with RJ Bishop in the 98, and yeah, he did get very lucky. They had a quick fix on the inside of the car, and boom, back to go. Let's just double check here before we go to green, because I just noticed that was the one to go, and everything else from there and just for the most part everyone looks like they're good so no one's got any damage it looks like no one's got any issues that is a good sign right there so while we wait before we go back to green flag racing uh Let's take a look at the rest of the top 20 there. So I guess we could do that because of the whole, like, I went a little too early. Oh, well. John Art's going to restart 11th. Brett Pritchard, 12th. Zach Rogers, 13th. 14th. Zachary Fitzwater, 15th. Kev Shearer, 16th. Ramey and Fisher, 17th. Alex Ferranzi, 18th. Scott Roush, 19th. Cole Deaver, complete the top 20. Clint Spillman, remember, keep an eye on that three car battle for the points lead. Connor Meyer, so far the best of the three. 21st through 30th is Audrey Bernowski, Zach Flickiger. JT Bryant, Jeffrey Finguy, Allison Rain, Seth Cole, Phil Parker, Nathan Hudson, Brian James, Alex Drayton at your top 30. Rest of the field from 31st on back. Sky Commons, Angel Navarro, Levi McIntyre, Dylan Poteet, 
Quentin Moore, Kyle Matthews, R.J. Bishop, Aaron Douglas, Trent Dunham, Diego Yepes, and in 41st, Jessica Shelton. Briefly after mentioned, James Qualls out of the race in 42nd. So I know Batson probably not going to be too worried, especially the fact that the top three stayed out. Unless they got some crazy strategy going on, then, then that would be the time to worry. you got to remember, that 39 car, uh, especially from last season mentioned, definitely uh, won some redemption. Also, fun fact, Allison Rain debuted in the uh, ally scheme for the first time as Green Flag back underway here at Pocono. So let's have three ally schemes. Why not? But green Flag back underway. And Batson got a big jump trying to get around Ember Ross. And Ross did not get going in that 77. Osborne and Batson tried to get around both their, the drivers they were trying to pass. Couldn't do it. Osborne couldn't do it. Turner going to take fifth from James Ellison, or at least try to. And behind, I thought, I think, yeah, three wide, at least attempted. But thankfully, Fitzwater backed out of that scenario and said, you know what? Not worth it. Kev, go ahead and try to battle because it's not going to work out. Parrot Evans Gardner teammates there. Battle for second. Ember Ross. That Monster Energy Toyota. Look underneath Joshua Osborne. Not going to work at Batson. Going to try the high line on Ember Ross. That's a bit, bit of a risky move there in that 39, knowing that this is a track you want to be in the inside. Come off the corner and oh, three wide. Between teammates and Jesse Turner in the 78. And yikes. Look at Turner in the high line trying to get the spot. Trying to hold on for dear life. And both Miles and Oskin are going to try to get around the 70 right before turn one. What a gutsy move by the DBI cars. Both of them driving auto zone for this race. Both trying to clear, and oh, Oskin definitely did not take that turn well, and Turner's going to hold on to at least one of those spots that he lost there. And now Batson trying to work on Ross. That's for third. Ooh, look out. Just making a slight bit of contact there, and wisely not going to wreck him right there. Wreck that car there at all. And now this is where if you're Batson, definitely want to tuck back in line right now, and that's a good move. Brett Pritchard in the 54 starting to really having one of those good races out there. And it's kind of crazy to see Pritchard up the front in the standings right now because you gotta remember Pritchard hasn't really had a lot of luck in the series. He's been involved in the uh the very memeable crashes. Orlando definitely sticks out the most. But the Bang Energy Toyota looking really good in that top 10. He's got his teammate and boss right behind him in 10th. And then the satellite teammate not too far away, John Arden, the 05. Somewhere in the mix. You got to find drivers like Phil Parker in the 15. Just in no man's land. <laughs> And Aaron Douglas, remember, he got involved in that accident. He's still quite a ways in the rear of the field, but he's still hanging in there. And Oskin kept trying to battle Turner, trying to get that spot. He finally got his wish. And now Batson going to try the high line on Joshua Osborne. Here comes Ross in second place, looking for the lead on Cody Lamas. Gutsy move. Now Ellison is trying to look for fourth on Keith Batson. Remember, those two drives got to keep an eye on both of them there because if those top three pit, that's going to really be interesting. Ellison trying to use that low line, and he's got it. 
But now you're starting to see Batson use the high line. How about <laughs> Benjamin Miles and Semin Oz get both the DBI cars? Trying to tag team to 39. Ross couldn't get the lead. Here comes Ellison and Batson using that high line. Batson trying to look at that. He's trying to use Ellison to use the high line as a pick to try to make a move. He's saying, all right, you can have that spot. But don't worry, I got the experience. And now Batson using that low line right there. Trying to clear that 0 3. He's trying to tell the 62 to, hey, man, give me the draft. How about both DBI cars there having a great run? <laughs> Literally not too far behind. Batson completes the pass on Ellison. And whoa, Oskin. Dang, that car's getting a little fishtaily there. But you can tell Batson's just saying, what do I got to do to get around Osborne and all the others here? Even though he knows those top three got to come down pit road eventually, but he knows what do I got to do to get around them? Battle for position. Benjamin Miles on James Ellison. What a run by the AutoZone 4. That car is flying through the field. Miles is just a man on a mission here. The car is wicked fast. No surprise, he actually has the fast lap of the 51.584. So if I were Keith Batson, I think this would be the driver I'm worried on. Especially how he's going to be on the high line in turn one here. He's in that preferred line. Now Pritchard's starting to get up here. Look at the 62 go. Ooh, man. And Batson's saying, hey, man, I really want this win bad. So if you want this win, you better fight tooth and nail. And remember, like I said, that top three is going to come down pit road eventually, but the question is when. Unless they got some crazy strategy. I don't know what they got planned. Batson trying to complete that pass on Miles, but Miles going to have that groove coming into this corner. And the 62 going to complete the pass on Keith Batson. He's going to take the spot. And both DBI cars are actually really fast. Both of them are in the top three in the fastest laps there. Holy cow. And Oskin got around Batson also in the high line coming in a two. Wow. That, those two cars, they have been passing left and right. Literally. Bats and I want to give a... How about Zach Rogers working his way up here? Holy cow, that Monster Energy Ultra Paradise car is working his way up through here. Bats would be like in that Nathan's Ford. What do I got to do to win this race? What do I got to do? Remember, he had a very rough race at 8 Bowl. He got involved in the wreck where he paged the field. And uh, a lot of people were really doubting to see if that 39 was going to continue uh, another skid. And now Rogers looking underneath that Nathan's Hot Dogs Ford. I think that 39 used up his tires there trying to pass. Some of those drivers as Rogers dove that car deep and Bats had checked up there. He did not want to wreck that car. Yeah, I think that 39 used up his tires there. And cars moving up. I think I can see why. They're coming down pit road. Zach Rogers and Connor Meyer also coming down. And those drivers pitted with the rest of the field. Now three wide for the lead. Look at Bats in the low line pass at both the DBI cars. And Pritchard just shoving them up there. He is saying, I refuse to get past. He just shoved the 39 up there. Holy mackerel. Now Miles and Oskin. Literally tag team in the 54 there. Miles already got the pass on the Bang Energy Toyota. Now Oz can try to do the same thing. 
This race has been pretty good so far. Only one wreck and caution that took play. And ever since then, we've been clean and green. Dylan Thoreau in the four. Trying to pass Osgin in turn three, and he's going to get it. Couple cars coming down pit road. That's Trent Dunham and Aaron Douglas. Those three came out. Shelton and Meyer. Looks like Shelton. Uh, yeah, she's a bit off the pace, and she got passed by all those drivers. Cole Deaver also down. Diego Yepes. Angel Navarro. All of them came down as well. So we may see a cycle of green flag pit stops come underway. And eyes will be on the Nathan's Hot Dogs forward if he can make pit strategy work out if that is the case. Thoreau looking like he's going to want to stay out. Fitzwater. And yes, Batson and others down. A good slew of drivers on down. It's a feeding frenzy down there. A whole bunch of drivers. RJ Bishop also going to come on down. Remember, he was the one that had problems early on. The ones that stayed out, Brian James, Quentin Moore, Kyle Matthews, Jeffrey Fingai, Sky Commons, Kev Shearer, Alex Ferranti, John R., Jesse Turner, Zachary Fitzwater, Dilthrow. I believe I'd noticed too. Yeah, those two came down pit road again. I think... The keyword think I may have had a black flag or something. I'm not too sure. Batson first one off in that cycle. Osborne trying. He's going to get around Benjamin Miles in the 62. Not going to get around Batson yet. That's a better hit that gas. Get those tires warmed up. Now more of the leaders coming on now. A few more staying out. Brian James, Moore, Deaver, Commons, Ferranti, Turner, Fitzwater, and Thoreau. They are staying out as much as they can. Yeah, Meyer and Rogers lap down there. Also, I just realized, Seth Cole's got some damage in 0-7. He's got a buck on the hood. Well, this may play a factor later on if it happens, but we'll see. And the rest of the leaders coming on down. So now, Batson, the main driver to keep an eye on. It may be him and Osborne. Oh, Myers got an issue. Engine has expired on the 51. GameStop Seagate Toyota. And Lamas had to swerve to avoid that one there. A tough break for the previous race winner, or pre previous season winner. Actually, uh, yeah, both, both exactly. Meyer won at April, and he won this exact race one season ago, and looks like two in a row, not going to happen. And that's going to bring out a yellow. Caution's out. And for some drivers, that's saving grace. And for others, not so much. And Rogers also with an issue. I think that's what the caution's for. And... It's saying Dylan Thoreau is the leader. Well, right now, he is the leader. Batson is in fifth. Going to hold off Osborne. And just double checking with uh, both the 51 and the 6 just on here in case there's something that popped up. And uh, it does not look like that there is. So this is a very interesting. I don't think they uh they may have had something to uh. I don't, I don't see anything. That's that's weird. So.
Not too sure what happened to Myron Rogers. And Rogers. Oh, I have no idea what he's doing. Okay, now he's back on pit road. And Myron with no fuel. I think he may have had a fuel leak or something. I'm. That's what I'm willing to bet, but. Still, that's very strange. That could be the same for Zach Rogers. Tough break for both of those drivers. And I believe that's what brought out the caution, too. So now we're going to see if the row fits water. Ferranti and uh, Sky Commons are going to come down pit road, which I have a feeling they will be. And no, they're going to stay out. Actually, I think they. Yeah, they may have done their pit stop and took some strategy there. So Dylan Thoreau out in front. If there's anything else that we will find, uh, we will let you guys know. So we'll be back after this quick commercial break. Welcome back. You have not missed much. Right now, Meyer, the only one out of the race from that ordeal. Rogers got back out in the course and still don't know what the heck even happened, but Looked like an electrical failure that happened on both the drivers. But Meyer, of course, you see, had a fuel issue there, and he's out of it. Rogers can be three laps down. That's a tough blow right there for that six machine. So definitely not what he needed altogether. So we look back at Dylan Thoreau's pit stop, and it looks like not just him, but the top four took right side tires compared to Batson doing all four. So bold strategy by Thoreau, Fitzwater, Ferranti, and Commons. Keep an eye on those guys. See if the tires hold out well. Batson restarting fifth. Osborne sixth. Turner seventh. Miles eighth. Deaver, or not, I'm sorry, not Deaver. Matthews ninth. Fleeing the top ten. Brett Pritchard. The rest of the top 20 include Cody Lomas. Quinn Moore up to 12. Started in the rear of the field. And the pit stops have worked to his favor. 13th, Samet Oskin. 14th, Nathan Hudson. 15th, Ember Ross. 16th, Allison Rain. 17th, Brian James. 18th, Cole Deaver. 19th, Andre Bernowski. Played top 20. Trent Dunham, green flag, back underway here at Pocono. Batson not wasting any time whatsoever. He said, I feel like I got screwed. I'm going for that position. Probably not the best idea. And now Osborne going to take full advantage. Tough break for that 39 team. Just He really won this win badly, and he thought the cycle of pit stops were going to come to his favor. Not the case. Meanwhile, will the two-tire strategy work out for Dylan Thoreau, the Minnesota native? But Zachary Fitzwater, you know he's trying to break a good winless streak. He's the Season 8 champion. Or the Season 7 champion, excuse me. Ferranti looking for second. Yeah, no dice right there. Turner just got around. Batson also for position. And the PPP or the PPG paints. Mercedes now trying to look underneath the Castle GTX Chevrolet. He's got a good head of steam right there. Looking underneath. Number two, caution comes out, races over. Turner gets a nice clean pass. Batson not wanting to give up in that 39, trying to pass Osborne for that position. He's got drafting help from the 48 of Cody Lamas. And he's going to get it. Now those top four with two laps to go. Can they hold on? But primarily is going to be, in fact, of Dylan Thoreau in the National Guard Chevrolet versus Zachary Fitzwater Menard Chevrolet. Batson looks like he's going to be heartbroken yet again. But between those two, who do you think is going to get it? We're going to find out in four more turns. In the Wawa versus Sheets 400. Fitzwater all over the back bumper of Dylan Thoreau. He's trying to see if he can make that move. But the two-tire strategy has been working great for that National Guard Chevrolet. White flag at the line. Final lap here at the Tricky Triangle. The Pocono Fairgrounds. One lap to go. 
Turner looking at any comments for the fifth or uh, for the fourth position rather. But you tell that inside line turn one is a no go. Fitzwater just doesn't seem to have that car like what Dylan Thoreau's got in that four. Shelton looks like it lost a cylinder there. But Dylan Thoreau, car number four. The veteran for Spirit of Daytona Racing. They lost the say key funder, funding this season after they went away. He said, let's just keep the team, keep the number, add some new sponsors to that team. Well, guess what? He's going to win it without the funding. Checker flag. Dylan Thoreau is going to win the Pocono Fairgrounds of the Wawa versus Sheets 400. And a stellar job for Dylan Thoreau and that single car team. And they're going to get the job done. He said, we don't need the funding. We can still win it. And they did it. Let's take you look through the rest of your top 10 there. Dylan Throw with the win. Zachary Fitzwater second. Alex Ferranti in third. Sky Comets fourth. Jesse Turner fifth. Keith Batson sixth. Joshua Osborne seventh. Cody Lamas eighth. Ember Ross ninth. Complete the top 10. Quit more. Wow, that 89 card jumped into the top 10 when it really came to be. So, a bell for the points lead. I really don't know who's going to take it there, but it's going to probably be Cody Lamas there. Pretty certain. Let's take a look through the rest of the field. And Brian James jumping up to 13th after after that second cycle of stops there. So great job by that 94 there. And as you look on down through here, Rogers end up three laps down in 40th. Jessica Schult we've seen fall back really badly. Ends up 39th. Two drivers only out of the race, Connor Meyer and James Qualls. Well, what a race that was all together. Thank you guys for watching. Like, be sure to like. Comment your thoughts. Subscribe, part of the Intercell, and subscribe button down below. You've been watching a production of the Intercell where racing is living. Congrats to Dill Throw one last time on winning at Pocono in the Wobble vs. Sheets 400. We are international now for the next six weeks. Until then, this is your boy DeYoung signing off. We'll see you guys later. Until then, here come the points. Have fun, international boys.